this one's prompt last year was blissful and the suggestion was puppy spa day in a cartoon style i attempted to do that and this is just going to create a base for the bark march painting that will be starting in a few days far too many or far too few days in fact all right it's not full coverage but it's enough that i will be able to do a sketch and then fill in everything and this will also give it a nice tone color throughout we're painting the sides right now <laughs> i don't know if i'm going to continue to do that that's typically something i do when i've finished a piece but yeah basically this uh gives this canvas new life it gets a new chance to potentially be adopted as i like to say and it's not just sitting somewhere gathering uh dust so that's why i paint over them this next one's prompt was moody and the suggestion was a grumpy puppy goodbye blissful grumpy puppy nope sorry moody grumpy puppy and i usually have like brighter crazier colors when it's not painting over a canvas because i'm using acrylic then and Weirdly, I have a wider range of acrylic paints than I do of uh, foil paints, which is what this is. I do get weirdly attached to my paintings. Maybe it's not weird. I don't know. Just mixing in a little bit of that red to make it a little bit of a nicer, well, not nicer, a little bit of a peachier color. Honestly, I don't know that I think any colors are nicer than another. It's all about context. Some of the prettiest colors can look horrible in the right palette or the wrong palette i guess i should say the prompt for this one was early and the suggestion was bedhead so i'm gonna use cadmium yellow hue and mix it with some white and i have not cleaned my brush so we're gonna get a little bit of that too and i want this to be too light so i'm not gonna put too much white in it more or less i'm just giving it or making it a little more opaque instead of transparent cadmium yellows tend to be a little bit transparent this one was the prompt was fun and the suggestion was a dog with a frisbee i was actually really quite fond of that painting i was a little bit sad that it didn't get home but you know it's now getting a second chance to get a home all these paintings get a new life which is kind of exciting huh. to new beginnings and all that so this prompt was hopeful and the suggestion was begging for table scraps let's try prussian blue it's a really deep blue. I'm mixing it with a little bit of the light green. It's actually a really pretty color, but I am partial to blues. So I have thought about doing a black one, seeing how that would work, but it would be such a dark painting because that black would definitely come through and make it kind of a kind of, I wouldn't say dingy, but it, it's gonna be dark. <laughs> but you know, experimenting's fun. Uh, this one, the prompt was yummy. And the suggestion was dog guarding a steak bone. And I usually work from some sort of reference photo, whether or not I'm mashing them together or I'm just using the reference photo itself. I try not to just use the reference photos by itself. So sometimes the limitation is simply, do I have a reference photo for it? Which is why I recently started doing the, you don't have to make it just a suggestion or you don't even need to make a suggestion if you'd rather just submit your pet photo and say, hey, use this. That's great for me because then I don't have to spend hours searching for, for a reference photo. So, and you still get a chance to win the suggestion by submitting a photo, which I usually do just through comments. Yet do that on TikTok. I'm trying to figure out, I think I might try duetting on TikTok. Like you can duet with a picture of your pet. I'm not entirely sure that's gonna work. I mean, obviously, it'd be dog, a picture of your dog for this one. We're going to try. We'll see what happens. All right. If you predicted the next color was purple, you're right. <laughs> it's purple. We're going to go with uh, dioxazine purple. Dioxazine purple. Words, man. I do like this purple, but I don't find it to be very pigmented. Which can be good, but... It also means you have to use more of it. Like right now, you can see a lot of the blue is coming through. But it is such a pretty purple. I don't think the brand matters. This is a Winsor and Neuter. But Neuter. <laughs> Windsor and Newton. Oh, I forgot to say. <laughs> the prompt for this one was new. And the suggestion was a new puppy wearing a gift bow. Which I also thought it turned out pretty cute. But it did not get adopted. Uh, this one, the prompt was radiant, 
and the suggestion was a dog basking in sunlight. That's a little more purple. These always kind of end up looking like Easter eggs by the time I get done with them. So let's get a little bit more of a reddish purple in here. Ooh, I shouldn't have gone for that red. That red is more of an or orangey red. So now I've got kind of a, well, I mean, it's kind of nice. Things happen and here we are. Now we've got this uh, mauve maybe. We'll go with mauve. Or I've heard some people say mauve. All right. I think I forgot to say this one. This one was refreshing. And the suggestion was dog drinking from a hose. Let's try some magenta, which is more or less what I was thinking the first time. Oh, and this prompt was rosy and somebody suggested an embarrassed dog for that. That's a pretty color. I used to hate pink, but now I'm like, okay, it's a tool. It's a tool like any color. There is no reason to hate a color. You just have to find out where you like to see the color. Hate the setting, not the color. All right, and then this one, was, the prompt was serene. And the suggestion was a dog sleeping in a cuddled fluffy bed. I do like a peachy underpainting, so that's why I tend to gravitate towards that. I'm not sure I'd say it's my signature color. I'm still figuring that stuff out, but I have found I do like that a lot. I also like purples a lot too, because some photos where you see a lot of cooler undertones and purple tends to be, bring those out. But if you're looking for a warmer tone underneath, obviously you're gonna to want to gravitate towards more peachy colors. So the mix for this one is uh, magenta and that cadmium yellow hue. Cause I just wanted to see how that's interacting. The cadmium yellow hue is a newish addition to my palette. So I'm still kind of figuring my way through that. Let's try a super dark one. I found some lamp black in a very, very dusty tube. All right, I'm gonna use a new brush so we can actually get a closer to black color. We'll see how this turns out. So the prompt for this one was a was sprightly, and then the suggestion was an old dog playing with a ball. Hopefully whatever I create on this black canvas will be interesting enough for him to find a home. And it looks so weird next to all my Easter egg color canvases to have his black canvas. What well, else? who knows? Maybe we'll find out that I absolutely love painting on black canvases and this is my new signature color. All right, it is covered. Tomorrow we'll be, I'll be posting two different lists of prompts uh, and then taking a vote on everyone's favorite. And then I will post the result of that. So feel free to vote. Cost you nothing. <laughs> Thank you, everyone.